So I know the title said that I'm gonna be... <laughs> Hello, Exnor! Hello, Iron Mets! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! I know the title said, um, I'm going to be assembling these, and I will. I just need to finish this one little part first. So hopefully I can get this done in a relatively quick amount of time. How are you guys today? Welcome, welcome. Doing good? Oh, awesome. Yeah, um, I've been working on these. When did I start making these? I don't quite remember. Oh, I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Been, uh, actually I've been exhausted recently. Uh, we're thinking it might be some allergy medication. <laughs> some, uh, allergy medication. So we, um... We specifically got a non-drowsy one, but for some reason I was just super tired, so we're trying to take it at night instead. Oh goodness! Turn down the volume! <laughs> Hello, 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 Hello. Oh goodness, stop! <laughs> Actually, maybe I can... yeah. Why don't we just work on the, uh... Other ones, like I said, I was going to do. Benadryl? No, it was, um... Ah, I forgot what it is. It starts with a C-E. That's the non-drowsy kind. But we got that. And I'm still tired after taking it. I was taking two-hour-long naps. It was crazy. Anyway. Well, let's go ahead and take this off for right now. And I'll finish this up later. We'll just cut the section off. Yeah, it's not... It's just barely touching this uh, circle right here. And that's okay. Let me try scooching it. Scooching this. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Two hours, pathetic. <laughs> well, normally I try to stay away from naps. Hopefully this isn't too nauseating. No. Still trying to figure out what to do with this. Oh wait, no, hang on. Oh hey, that's much better. Sorry about that. Much better. Oh, that is the one issue with this though. I'll take this out real quick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scissors. And I actually did get a couple or a few of them done. Woke up at 10, fell asleep at 11, woke up at nine. Oh my goodness. It's almost 12 hours right there. But yeah, and these little sushi embroidery that'll, the camera will focus. But yeah. I'm, I'm excited for these. <laughs> and I also, um, I'm trying, I think I got too big of a box for these since they're so small, but for the uh, video showcase, I was wanting to maybe get a smaller, one of the smaller ones. The problem is, is that the sushi, these boxes only come in like a pack of a hundred, or you buy 15, a $15 single pack with the sushi inside, oh, yeah. <laughs> Just to eat the sushi. But yeah. Alright, let me just put these off to the side real quick. Alright, we'll leave this be. Oh, kitty. You don't want to be in here. There's going to be some fumes. He's so insistent on being here. Uh, I have to. I had to flip this one over, so I'll have to be careful with that. Kitty, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't remember when I first started making these, but I've been trying to do one a week. These take a while. 
You would die in my house. What? <laughs> you love cats, also have one? Or is it because of allergies? Yeah, I'm actually allergic to our cats, and it makes it so very apparent if I miss a couple days of allergy medication. Alright, this is just like the experimental scrap. I'll use that for later. And then this one. Cat allergies, yes. Ugh. It's the worst because I want to spend so much time with the cats. I used to volunteer for a cat... Um, not a not a cat rescue per se, but just like a cat house. Oh, you're allergic to dogs? Ah, oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I just I just couldn't stay for very long. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats. Continue to have to cats. Yes. <laughs> well, thankfully the allergies are maintained, or they're just out out of. Bleh. Over-the-counter allergy medication uh, keeps it at bay. Have you guys ever played the game Rain on the PS3? The, uh, it was a beautiful game. Such a pretty game. And it had this, uh, I don't know if you can quite hear it in the music in the background. Oh my goodness, stop. All right, and I'll finish this last one up a little bit at a time. You've heard of it? Yeah, it's such a pretty game. Oh. This is my favorite uh, classical music piece. You have a broken Xbox, Xbox One S and a PS1. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got a PS3. Still have it, and I think it still works. So these blue markings, I haven't quite tested it yet. I probably should, since uh, it kind of shows up on one of the edges. Yeah, this one right here. Um, but this is supposed to be heat erasing ink. And I need to test that out, actually. We have a heat gun. I don't have a, a hair blower, or is that what they're called? I don't have one of those because I've got really short hair and it just dries out pretty quick. Okay. All right. And we're gonna use, let's see. Have I heard of Rain World? Yes, I have. By the time Silk Song releases, it's Blue Crew Classical, yes. Should be coming out soon ish. Okay. These are kind of nice. They kind of smell like smoke. Uh, the good, like, campfire smoke. That's because of the laser. laser uh, pine. Ooh, downpour is out in Rain World. Yeah. I've been tempted to play it. And these ones you can just get at, uh, um, these things I just ordered online from Amazon. <laughs> Have I heard of Risk of Rain? Yes, my, uh, husband, uh, has beaten it quite a few times on, uh, the monsoon sort of level. All right. But yeah, that seems pretty fun. All right, so we're gonna go and align it right here. Boom, 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 boom. And I did my best to fill in um, most of the edges with the uh, rice. Okay, there we go. That looks good. So now comes the super fun part of super glue. I've looked on Etsy for other people who also do embroidery earrings and what they use is hot glue. The problem with hot glue is that if you see it, or if, it just in my opinion, if you see the hot glue, it kind of cheapens the look of it, you know? 
imagine Beethoven's Fifth Symphony just randomly started playing. <laughs> I mean, it might. I've turned on a uh, copyright-free classical music. So hopefully I don't like copyright stuff. Alright, here comes the end part. I always get glue on my fingers. I suppose what I could do is just glue the inside. That'll keep it more um, stable. It'll help a lot. Actually, let's try doing that. Just gather everything together tightly in the back. Yeah, the game is really fun. Ooh, slug pups you can find. Oh. Yeah, my, um, it's a pretty fun looking game. I should probably open a window too. Uh, we are running out of glue. That or it keeps drying up in the spout. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <coughs> I swear my allergies just keep getting worse and worse. I need to get an easier bottle because I need to work on this quick. Yeah. Are you working dots all the way? Whoa! Okay. Ah! No, 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 no! Okay. Hang on, just loop it back, loop it back, loop it back. Oh, come on. Okay. All right, we're good. It's not quite the orientation that I want, and that's okay. Oh, my word. Okay, let's not do that again. Do, 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 do. Yeah, what I usually do is just glue the outside right here and then the inside. And hopefully that'll keep it. Oh boy, there's a little bit of white. I usually, for myself, um, I keep the kind of duds. I don't know which ones I'm gonna have to keep. Your seven red suns is your PFP. Ah, very nice. Seven of them. One was not enough. You needed seven. Okay, let me give this a good shake. Uh, let me try to find the lid. <sighs> Hello, Ikusa! Welcome! You're illegal in many countries. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. My word, this bottle is just... There's still some. There's still some. I can see it. Who knows? Maybe... Actually, hang on. Maybe that's enough. That might actually be nice. I'll tip, I'll tip this upside down first. Hang on. If I'm able to just glue the edges of this. Boom, 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 boom. And then again, I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Just a soft edge for the um, earring or a hard, more stiff edge? I guess just to keep continuity, I can just glue the outside as well. Sorry, I'm just getting a feel of these earrings. Oop, and a kitty cat hair, I don't want that glued in there. But yeah, anyway, there's, there's not a whole lot of embroidery earrings per se, especially like hand embroidery. 
on uh, Etsy, which is surprising. I have considered the possibility of getting an embroidery machine, but my goodness, are they so expensive. All right, are you done? Are you done being dumb? Yeah, for continuity's sake, I guess I'll just keep going with this. But it does look much nicer without the glue on the outside. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. I guess so long as I uh, do that. Yeah, let's try that. Sorry, I'm making no sense. 80 countries on the dot. <laughs> Just finagle this around. This is more small. The smallest. Someday I'll have a nice background for the desk, but for now, I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Try to screw this in. Looks nice. Don't know if I should glue the end of this. Probably should. I just need to be quick. That way this doesn't get unscrewed accidentally. You never know. Don't want too much excess because it dries uh, white. This little crusty white. This music reminds me of Fantasia 2000, the old one. Also Looney Tunes. You guys grown up with Looney Tunes? I love those. Steak with soy sauce and onions is good. Ooh, that sounds good, yeah. And garlic, nice. I love steak with A1. So the steak sauce, oh. I think it's mostly Worcestershire sauce. I believe I'm saying that right. There we go. Actually, it looks kind of nice. And at least this way, I won't have to worry about... Then again, if it's if it's nice and stiff, then... I don't know. I don't know. This can be an experiment one, too. I can make more. They are very time-consuming, though. Alright. Let's just go for it. Go ahead and just cut along this line here. It's quite some messy playing here. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I should probably put a cap on this. <laughs> Anything interesting going on with you guys? Where I live, uh, we've hit the 100 degree Fahrenheit uh, mark. So that's not fun. It's only gonna get hotter. <laughs> Let's see. Well, that kind of looks nice without the... I won't have to worry too much about... Yeah, I don't know. Do you think that looks nicer? Both our arms are about four millimeters in diameter. You <laughs> small. You too? Yeah, ugh. It's so strange that down in the southern hemisphere, it's opposite season, so right now it's winter for them. 
I don't remember if their winters are... They're not colder than the northern hemisphere. Yeah, this sounds like the the one Fantasia 2000 with the city and stuff. I like that one. I don't know, what do you think? This sort of nice soft back right here or stiff one right here? This one seems to be a bit more frozen in time, but this looks a little bit cleaner and softer. I don't know, what do you think? Should probably cut the length of this a little bit more too. South Texas is hot. Oh, you're still burning. Oh man, you're, it's hot and humid. I have a friend who uh, lives in Texas and she's like, yeah, that's, it's really, really hot and humid. You've got the beach right there. Yeah, you got the beach right there. You get to go to the beach very often. We went to uh, California a couple summers ago. Um, and I, it's been so long since I've been to the, uh, to the beach. It was so much fun. I'm usually out in the waves, just, uh, body surfing. And then I go in and build sandcastles. I'm not the kind of person who just kind of sits on the beach. It's just hot and boring. You go to a beach to get wet and have fun, you know? <laughs> All right. Now we get this. Only to clean the house for renters. Oof. All right, so we'll have this. This is so cute too. I th <laughs> let's let's the girl's dream come true. <laughs> oh, I love English. So what I do is I take this. And these hooks actually do not fit into here uh, when it has this little gold ball right here. And so I actually take it out. So it helps it, oops, not the scissors. Hello, IR Mitz. Welcome back. We're just going in to get rid of this little ball right here. Da-da. How's the music volume for you guys? I really need to do sound checks and stuff. So then I go in through here. Are they California rolls? No, they're actually Philadelphia rolls. All right. And I believe I just went in underneath. Going in like that. And then pull it up. Helps close the gap right here. Sorry if you can't see. Ugh. Focus. Yeah. You love Philly rolls? Yeah. I realized a bit too late that it usually uses tuna instead of salmon, but that's okay. I like it. All right, I think that one's done. Let's see. And I'll be making a listing for these uh, next month on my Etsy shop. So if you guys want to have one, you can get one there. Yeah, I think I might go with just uh, gluing it on the inside rim. I will make a note on my Etsy store probably saying, hey, some of these um, have stiff backs, some of them have soft and probably give people an option which one they would rather have. Tuna? You thought it was just salmon imitation crab? Ugh. Imitation crab. I used to like it, and then I, then I worked at a grocery sushi place, and it was nothing but imitation crab, and I just got sick of it. Yeah, I believe it's tuna 
uh, cucumber and cream cheese. But I wanted to use salmon because salmon's the best. Ooh, if there's if there's three of these already completed ones with the stiff backs, I should probably do another one with a stiff back to even it out. Unless somehow somebody buys three and has uh, three places to put an earring. Salmon is the best fish, yes. They're just so buttery and juicy. <laughs> and I just put this extra part in here. There's uh, links in here to kind of change the orientation 90 degrees on the earring, but we don't use that. Not yet, anyway. But yes, salmon is best fish. Let me put all this down here and see it a little bit better. You're watching this and playing Rain World Downpour? Awesome! I do want to play that game. I've heard it makes you scared of rain. I also, I've, I've seen just a tiny bit of gameplay, and I love it when uh, your character just like eats a bug. Just savagely eating this tiny little bug so quick. Alright, I will put this off to the side. I've got another bag to have these. Oh, well, well, I guess the light just died. Whoop. I need to charge that again. Sorry about that. Are you alive? Okay. We'll see how long this lasts this time. Oh yeah, okay, that's all it did. <laughs> all right, well this is the, uh, the little ring light I got. I forgot how much it was. It was one of the cheaper end, but I forgot to charge this, so we'll go ahead and try to find the, uh, charger for this. I don't think we can charge it as it's... Maybe? I don't know if we can turn this on as it's... Uh... Ooh! Ow! Okay, we'll test this out, and if it doesn't, Normally it's not a good thing to turn something on while it's charging, at least for some things. fan of this kind of classical music. Oh, you got Kido no! Interrupt this program to deal with this lightning. Ooh! I love lightning. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of classical music. It just sounds messy. And just chaotic. I don't like it. I listen to classical music to be moved and soothed. To be moved and soothed! <laughs> My goodness, chill out, music! Okay, that's good enough. What you hear is whoa, whoa. <laughs> I probably sound crazy if you can't hear the music. This is the orientation that I want, so we'll gather it up in the back. <laughs> she goes woo woo. 
<laughs> it's too much chaos. It gives me a headache. The chaos emeralds. Come on. Should probably stick a needle to make sure it's not dried up in the in the tube. That would require me using up a needle though. I'm sure it's not easy to get the hot not the hot glue, the uh, super glue off. Oh word. These would be cute as buttons, actually. They get dirty very quickly. Okay, thank goodness. And a little bit of glue on my fingers. It gets annoying. Kind of feels like a callus once it dries up. It's annoying. All right. Eh, stuck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very talkative right now. <laughs> more of a chill sort of thing. Yeah, like that. Oh, forgot I need to put the glue on first. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm going to do more sushi things. In orchestra, you abandoned Mozart for battle music. It's all right, I understand, yeah. I'm normally, like, hardly ever talk during the day. <laughs> Live streams are an exception, a very big exception. Except for this live stream, apparently, ouch. Yeah, we might need to get another bottle of this. off the excess. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make more of this sushi. I've been through so much thread already. Just with the rice alone. At least more than usual. Thankfully with mini embroidery, you don't use up as much uh, thread. I haven't had any sales with the uh, gingerbread earrings. <laughs> you just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Started GoFundMe to give Alex more bread. More <laughs> thread, not bread. <laughs> bread too. I think I'm actually fine. I've got this box. This really big box right here. Eh, full of eh, threads. The threads. <laughs> So thankfully I have a lot of those. These are more like samples, but the thing is with uh, this mini embroidery, um, I split a thread. Um, 
There are, so each thread has like six strings inside of it and I use one of those strings. So it, it really doesn't take up a whole lot. All right, do it once over. When I was in band, uh, I got up to uh, second chair as a clarinetist. I was just behind this one guy, which I'm pretty sure had spent all of his time practicing. I was not very good at keeping up with practicing. <laughs> Um, but apparently I was good enough to be high school second chair in, uh, what was it? It's not ensemble. It's the, uh, symphonic band. So that was the higher up sort of thing. You died again? Just, just, just don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, man. I should have cut the back of this. Uh, I need to check through again because that's going to be an issue. I want to make this look as nice as possible. I know it's handmade, but I want to make it look nice, you know? But yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, I, was, I wasn't very good with uh, getting new reeds either for my clarinet, so... I just kept on using mine until they were split or starting to get mold. <laughs> that was, or I don't know if it was mold, but it was like dark marks on the reed. He's nasty. Sounds unhealthy, yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to play the, uh, what was it, double bass? I just think they just sound so good. They sound so good. I like the deep, rich uh, sounds that they make, like in, uh, Hans Zimmer uses them a lot. I just feel like they're the backbone of good, powerful music, you know? Or at least, uh, background music. Soundtracks. Give it a little haircut. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. The reason why I decided to go with clarinet when it, I actually started learning clarinet in uh, middle school um, was because in elementary school, we learned how to play the recorder, and I thought, oh, well, this will be easy to do the clarinet instead uh, of learning ent an entirely new instrument, you know? Recorder is very similar. So, yeah. Instruments are expensive, though. Oh, my word. I am curious about how much I would remember uh, if I picked it up again. I do have a tin whistle, though. I don't usually play it because it's super, super high-pitched and loud, so it would annoy everyone in the house. You skipped half of first year and second year. Let's see. I also got that because I thought, man, this will be easier to learn because I learned the clarinet. <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to practice with those instruments because they're, they can get really tiresome on everyone pretty fast. Oh, pretty, thanks. Yeah, we try. I try. <laughs> but I like never use it. And Tin whistle music is actually really hard to read because they don't have the timing. Very good, the, the flute. <laughs> it sounds like the flute. It's a tin whistle. A little bit different. You don't hold it up uh, at an angle like 
a uh, flute. It's more held like a clarinet or a recorder. What was I saying? Oh yeah, tin whistle music. Um, it All it has is the notes and not even the notes like A, B, C or the symbol of the note. It's, it's showing you the literal finger, the finger holes. Um, and that's, that's really confusing for me because one, I don't know when to play the notes. Two, it's, it's a little hard to discern between the, the black and white, uh, notes. <clears throat> Since they all look the same and similar. Ugh. So yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Wish they did a little bit better job of that. There was one little bit where I was really wanting to play the accordion because of uh, Professor Layton. He opened, they opened my eyes to the wonders of the accordion. <laughs> I was in Okinawa when they released um, uh, the the Spectre's flute. I think it was the fourth one, anyway. Um, bef in Japanese before it ever came to English. I remember my brother was really was wanting to buy it, even though it was in Japanese. We didn't know any Japanese whatsoever. He just wanted to get it, and was like, "No, don't get it." You won't be able to understand anything. Why waste your money? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I can't. I can't really show it to you at the moment. But yeah, if you look up just tin whistle um, music. Oh no, you got snipped by the scissors. Hang on, let me grab. Oh, no, it's not in here. Don't play double bass. Why not? You sound so good. You sound so good. There's power in the music. You can't hear it, it's really hard to do anything. No, uh, I wish I can show it to you. The, I don't know if it's the double bass or just the bass, but just the really deep, rich music, you know? I gotta. It <laughs> plays double bass anyways. <laughs> Watch me. A line. A line. I'm kind of thinking about playing Horizon Zero Dawn as a next uh, sort of gameplay series. Once I finish up Dragon's Dogma. Then again, there's also Fallout that I can do first. And I don't have to buy another game. I just missed the Steam Summer Sale. I was going to get a game with my husband. Ugh, dang it. Oh, we've got other multiplayer games. There's always next summer. Our wallets cry. They cry in relief. You ate a bomb? Was it spicy? Taylor's doing a collab with Luke Pikmin. Who's that? The Pikmin from Pikmin? I don't know a whole lot of people, I'm sorry. Names, names are terrible. I have a hard time with that. It's gonna be the death of me. My goodness, go! Seriously needed like a de dedicated wrench or something to get this out. Let's try this then. They're making a Pikmin for- whoop! 
Guy who makes music covers. Oh. Well, um, eventually, with the uh, video game that uh, me and my husband are designing, um, we eventually do want to hire someone to do music and stuff. As both of us neither have the time nor the talent to do so. But yeah, I'm in awe of people who are able to make music. It's just a whole different art field that I so love and adore. Need to cut it down. Have you guys ever seen uh, what are they called? The C boards? The it's like a black keyboard. You have an okay piece? Nice. They're I think they're called C boards. It's just this black little keyboard. All the notes are black. It's very smooth, and it's supposed to be top of the line music creation sort of thing. Aha. All right, get the edge first before I make that mistake again. time oh man third time was supposed to be the charm been letting him in more often don't push off the succulent okay a tad bit of blue peeking out right here. Definitely. Yeah, oh, no, I need to be faster. No, 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 no. Okay, I really need to screw this in quickly next time. It'll be slightly loose. I think that's the best that I can do it, though, unless I squish it over to here. Ugh. My fingers grow old. <laughs> There's visuals of earrings being made. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got bombs. Oh, boy. Kitty cat. Oh, so um, I've been working on my model and I haven't been needing to um, use my drawing pad for it. And so I've got this little cushion that I put my elbows on. And uh, Knox likes to sit on the cushion, so he just snuggles up right next to me in my arms as I'm working on my model. It's our art time snuggles. Make sure everything's even. That is not even. Might not be able to get to all these, uh, all of these earrings today. That's all good. Uh, kitty, no nibbling. Kitty. 
No nibbling, my succulent. Alright, let's get all this string out of here. Kitty! Ah, I keep forgetting to trim the back of this. You're playing as an artificer. Oh, out of artifier, is it artificer artificer? I don't know. Ah, uh, the comments—they went away too quick. Gotta f let me show. Show me the chat. Let me show me the chat. But you need um, the mod first. Ah, uh, okay. I created a. Uh, D, D character this is we still haven't played actually played um but my character is this uh goblin it's really small small goblin and um she's an artificer art artificer whatever and she's like super crazy and chaotic just like me basically what she wants to do is um, there's a legend that, uh, dragon got blown up into space, and there's a bunch of asteroids and stuff, and that's what you see at night, and those are the remnants of the dragon. That's, that's what the myth says. And my goblin character is like, I want to go out into space, assemble the dragon, and rule the world. So yeah, we haven't actually uh, played that session yet. Crazy and chaotic last two words you just to describe you. <laughs> In a real world world setting, I would be very serious and very you know, kind of thought, taking thought of things. But in a game where you where I am safe and anything can happen, I will be the crazy one. There we go. Looks nice. Um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I do that a lot. Go ahead and put this in the trash bag. Where is the trash bag? Uh oh. You fit the spear master, nice. Put some of these away. I probably only have time to do just one more. All right, brush this off. Maybe trim the backs of these again. Trim the back hair. <laughs> I've yet to figure out how to what I'm going to do with doing a speed. What, I don't know what to call it. Sp not a speed paint, but um, doing a recording of this, a time lapse of this. Um, I don't know if I should do it. Um, what I'm just sewing, since this is so small, just all my shadows, all my fingers are just going to get out of focus, and now especially if it's sped up. Um, Music is now in the music channel. <laughs> um, or if I should do kind of not a kind of like a stop motion where every stitch is just a picture. The problem is is making sure that stays exactly where it is because I flip the uh, image quite a bit uh, to tie knots in the back. Still trying to figure that out. But I'd like to do that soon because I've already forgotten how to do the gingerbread men. I wrote it down, thankfully, and I still have the template that I've used. 
I've made. Um, and I have the template for this and everything and how to make it, but it's kind of nice to have a visual of, okay, how did I do this again? <laughs> Let me grab all this other junk right here. Probably trim the backs of these as well. It might be the only time that we'll have left. After this, I'm gonna make some baked mac and cheese got this really good recipe that I like. It's got mushrooms, um, beef with uh, cream cheese, the good stuff. Oof! Kitty cat oof! What's he doing? Uh oh. There he is! <laughs> Hi kitty! Let me scoop this up before you inhale it. Oh, don't rub your nose on that. What you going on here? This is the voice that I do for Nox. Oh, <laughs> Nox! <laughs> Kitty cat! What are you doing? <laughs> you crazy boy! What's a crazy boy doing? This is the one I'm still working on. Beep, beep. Are you the real star of the show, Kitty? Ditch way. Alright, I think this one might be fine. Oh, oh, sorry, I bumped you on your nose. Kind of funny. Ginger likes to snuggle. Oh, you want to sit down? Come on. All right, it's three fifty-three. I think I'll be heading off here in just a little bit. Oh, don't chew the wires. Don't do it. I see those gears turning. I see them. Can you stick your ears under here? Yeah. <laughs> hey, good boy. Hey, good boy. Oh, don't move that. <laughs> uh, kitty cats are the best distractions. But Ginger likes to snuggle during the day. Nox likes to snuggle in the night. Or pretty much all the time. Why the chicken make crazy? Do 40 people listen to your music? Oh, oh, hey, yeah. Why don't you sh send me um your music channel link and give it a listen. What you doing? What you doing? You good boy. get this one kind of oriented on the other one like that. Should do a channel where like put on some cat black cat paws. Have Nox do the live stream. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> The kitty cat, yeah. Kitty, what you doing? Uh, I think I'm about done working on this for now. I can only work on this so much before I'm like, ugh. I'll just work on cleanup then. ASMR. We've got a white blanket and Ginger, she's a she's an orange cat, likes to curl up on it. And it looks like a sunny side up egg. 
whenever she sleeps on it, curls up real tight. But yeah, maybe I can do another oh, cat live stream. Go ahead and just take this off real quick. There's the boy. Oh, sorry, the light, I forgot. Oh. I know, it's quite bright. It's a bit too bright, huh? A bit too much. But yeah, I think I'll just uh, clean all this up and then call it good for today. He's a good boy. He's the star of the show. He's the star. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to just call it good for right now. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll try to do another live stream on Friday. That's the plan. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!